influence challenge and it is specifically for kingdom influencers those who feel called to um, make an impact and most of you also want to make an income and tomorrow is when we're going to start talking about income we're kind of heading in that direction today um, and then tomorrow we'll really dive in a little bit deeper on the income side of things but you can't make an income until you're really making an impact and expanding your influence and then you can then you can begin to build upon all of those seeds you're sowing and all of that goodwill to begin to reap the benefits in so many ways and the uh, the biggest benefit is lives change uh, for me it's been like friendships the amazing friendships that i've formed with people uh genuine partnerships with people ministry partnerships that's been that yeah friendships and ministry partnerships i would say that's the greatest reward and then of course financial to be able to earn a living doing what you love doing what you feel like you were born to do to actually get paid to be you i think that i i just think that's as good as it gets and that's what being an online influencer kingdom influencer can position you to do so let's recap where we've been we should ask god for his help first lord we just thank you so much lord i thank you for those who are here with me live i thank you for the hundreds who are participating through email and i believe the thousands who will see this in the years to come and i just pray for your anointing that's what changes things god that your anointing would be upon this that's what matters yeah god put your anointing on this amen amen so where did we begin day one is we we're using the acronym soaring I, I don't know. I went through a season. I just love acronyms. I don't know. I love alliterations and acronyms. That's my thing. Okay. So our acronym is soaring. And we began on uh, day one with secure in him. And that really is foundational. You have to know who you are, whose you are. You have to know that God is calling you to do this, that he's given you a message, a mandate, a mission there there's something that god has uh, created you appointed you anointed you to do in the world you've got a message you want to turn it into a movement you've got a passion and you want to turn that into profits so that you can earn a living doing what you love and the foundation of all of that is being secure in him because i will tell you because i'm jersey girl just straight up there's gonna be some hard days i I, I have to tell you, there's going to be haters. There's going to be moments of self-doubt. There's going to be moments when you're tempted to compare yourself and your journey and the level of influence that you have to compare that to other people. And typically when you're first starting out, it's like, ooh, <laughs> it doesn't feel so good. Or um, to look for approval. Are you getting enough thumbs up? You know what? Where are all my thumbs ups? You know, where, where's my hearts and stars? Where's my following? And it can really take you down. That's why you've got to be secure in him. You're like, you know what? I don't care if I've got one thumbs up or a thousand thumbs up. I'm being faithful to what God has asked me to do. And that's my job. I have to be obedient to what God has asked me to do and the response, I'm not responsible for, for the response. I'm responsible for my obedience. And that that's just foundational, it is. And so being secure in him and in your calling. Okay, so, and then O is to own your niche. And Donna has promised herself that she's not gonna talk anymore about this because it's the hardest part. And I think I've camped out on it enough. And niche, who is that tribe of people? You know, you're with Wycliffe Bible Translators. You're gonna find your tribe. They're in some remote jungle. They're up in some mountain somewhere. You're gonna find them and learn their language and speak their language and empower them and you know live, live among them. Yeah own your niche 
Where can you be an expert? Um, A is just always be sowing. And what joy to know that God gives seed to the sower and the one who called you is faithful and he will do it. So encouraging. But you've got to position yourself as as someone who's always sowing. You know, you're always putting um, stuff out there. You're gathering seed and you're sowing. And then that brings us right into the three R's, which includes research. And part of getting seed to sow is your the work that you're doing of research so that you're learning and you're growing and you're getting results in your own life. You're always going to that next level. You're not just going to rest on your laurels. Uh, you can't be, you're either always either uh, growing or slipping, gaining ground or losing ground. So you've got to constantly be getting results in your own life and being a role model, not if someone who's perfect and the guru up on the mountaintop, you know, we talked about this, but really just being a role model of someone who's on the journey, who's you know, participating in the process, who's in pursuit and not going to let go of it. You know, I'm here and I'm not giving up. And that's really one of the most powerful things that you can be a role model of. And so that's S-O-A-R. And then that brings us to I, see how I can spell sometimes, uh, inform your tribe. Okay. And we'll spend two days on informing your tribe if my ipad will okay it's back yay okay informing your tribe so that's what we're going to talk about today all right um how do you inform your tribe and first of all you know what the the most important thing that i want you to get to is the position where you can leverage your time and your expertise through product creation and i we're, we're kind of do it's going to be two parts and so we'll do the second half tomorrow and today we're going to talk like pretty much free uh or you know, minimal cost and then tomorrow the higher priced products but the idea is multiple is leverage of your time leverage of your expertise ultimately for multiplication and the example that i gave you right from the beginning was one of the first projects I did, which was the 90 day renewal, which I went out there and I created it for free. 90 days, showed up every day for 90 days, informed my tribe, shared with them what I was learning. I, I've modeled this for you, okay? Shared with them what I was learning along the way. And that grew into a book. It grew into a class and many years generated a six figure it generated six figures in revenue for many, many years. And I just closed it down last year after 20 years. I created it in 1999. So that continued for 20 years. And that's what I mean by leverage. Some of these things I'm going to talk about, we already talked about the idea of every day for a year, creating something new, being there live, being there in real time, sewing, 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 sewing. But I also want you to create products that can live on forever. Okay, so I'm talking about a balance. Yes, you're doing that sewing, that's throwing, showing up every day, showing up every day, showing up every day. But take a lot of that material that you're creating in real time and turn it into products that can continue in perpetuity, okay? And if you look at a lot of my little freebies and my paid programs, that's exactly what I did. I informed my tribe live in real time. And then at the end of that, whether it was seven days, 30 days, 90 days, in the case of take your message to the world, that was a full year program. And I showed up and invested in them live and mentoring and that type of thing. And then it becomes an on-demand product that many, many years later, people can access. And I think I've given you, you know, just the most powerful example um, with, with the um the 90 day renewal which is my book becoming the woman i want to be which is still selling all these years later it's still selling um the other one that i did live and, and in that case i had actually already written the book i did a little bit differently that time i wrote the book becoming the woman god wants me to be and then to introduce that book for those of you who want to be authors which i'm hoping today convince all of you need to write a book I'm going to tell you a little secret. Okay, listen, gee, this is all Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. And again, I just, I'm just going to tell you, no one had done this before me. And everybody does it. This was Holy Spirit. He's just, 
That's all I can say. I can't take any credit for it. Holy Spirit told me to do it in 2009. Yeah, 2009, Holy Spirit gave me this. And if you're gonna be an author, I share this in the authority class. I'm gonna go ahead and share it here just as a, just as a throwaway because it's so powerful. I said to people, buy the book and I'll give you the class for free. Buy the book and I'll give you a 90 day live class with me for free. I sold 3000 books in about 24 to 48 hours. Thousands of books overnight because I offered to do the class. And now everybody does this. Everybody, you know, who's smart does it. But Holy Spirit told me it back in 2008. He's so good. It's a really great idea. And then somebody at my church said, so Donna, hmm, we've been thinking about what you're doing. How much do you make on those books? Because it's traditionally published. So little secret, you guys ready? I make about 68 cents per book. And they're like, so Donna, you're making 98 cents from your publisher because they're buying the book. And then you're giving them 90 days for free. Why don't you charge for the 90 days and give them the book for free? And so that's what I did then for years and years and years. And those of you who participated in that, the 90 day jumpstart and the 90 day renewal, I flipped the model and then it became uh, register for the class and you get the book for free. And I, I go into a lot more depth in all of this in the authority class that includes some really great bonus material, like really good stuff. Um, there's one called Successful Book Launch Secrets. And I think in there I talk about some of my ideas. And um, then another one is Getting Started on Amazon KDP for those of you who want to start with self-publishing, which I would encourage all of you to do. Start out with self-publishing a book and you know get some traction there, um, build a following. I mean, the, the best way to establish your credibility is, is to write a book. I mean, I have so many examples of this. I just helped a, a young guy he was, he got trapped at my house over COVID. It's a long story. And I helped him write a book, got him to number one on Amazon immediately within a week. He'd gotten a call from a school district saying, Hey, can you come at, you know, once COVID calms down, can you come and do some teaching in our school district within a week? I have another woman. She did a, a book on, um, for, for a segment of parenting. And within days, someone reached out to her and said, can you mentor me? And the woman is, you know, says she's starting a mentoring program. So a book is one of the best ways to launch your online influence. And it's kind of, it's, it's a, a, a both end. It's like your, your online presence will drive the book sales, but the book sales will really build your credibility and in that nothing will establish you quicker as an expert. And so what I encourage people to do, and this is the one that I was planning to share today, but it, it's one of my passions. Uh, I probably was going to do it tomorrow. I call it FCC, uh, forced content creation. And the best way to write a book, and I have done this so many times, is to get a group of people together in a Facebook group, agree to teach it, like I'm doing right now, every day I give you a slice of the book. That's the fastest way. Because otherwise it's like, yeah, I'm gonna write that book next week, next week, next week, next week. When everybody signed up and showed up in your Facebook group, you gotta do it. You gotta get it done. That's the fastest way to write a book. And then at the end of the class, you know, you get that up on Kindle and um, get a paperback version. Always do the paperback version. It's worth doing. Even if nobody ever, ever buys it, it increases the value of your Kindle book. Because what Amazon will do when someone goes to buy the Kindle book, let's say your Kindle book is $2.99, but you've got a paperback, even though you don't think anyone's ever going to buy it. And they probably aren't ever going to buy it. And you price the paperback at $12.99. When they go to check out for the Kindle, Amazon will show the paperback price crossed out and show them how much they're saving by getting the Kindle book. And just by putting that paperback on there, you increase the value of your Kindle version. And I know that, I mean, most of my books, I've written 30 some books, 30 of them have been traditionally published. And I do think that there, there's real um, leverage 
in good getting a book deal because you're never going to get that kind of distribution like my one of my books right now the becoming the woman god wants to be it's in airports grocery stores um the, all over the country i was just not long ago i was in the atlanta airport that's the busiest airport in the entire world and i walked into a store to see you know what's you know, get a good book i'm a bookaholic and i walk over to the inspiration rack and i'm like oh that's my book See, that's what a publisher can do for you that, uh, you know, your own self-published, but it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. But remember, we talked about being a, gam a farmer and a gambler. If I were you, I would start by doing some farming. I would start by doing some little eBooks and I I'm getting so far ahead of where I thought I would be today. We must have some really sharp people here today because God's like taking me right to the high level stuff. So this is interesting. Well, Susan's here. <laughs> How much higher level can you get than her? Um, smart lady. But uh, yeah, so I think so just some seeds of getting those little Kindle books out there and producing those. And then you're building credibility. You're building that following. People are like, whoa, you wrote the book on this subject. You must be the expert. When you're the author, you're the author a T, the authority, instant credibility. Why? Because 80% of Americans say that they want to write a book and 99% of them will never get around to doing it. So when they see you as the 1% who actually got the book done, they really respect you. They admire you and, and they should. And they think, well, you must know what you're doing. So I think all of you should, should write a book. I mean, if you're showing up every, if you're making that commitment and you're going to show up every day for the next year, on your topic, you could write numerous books. You could certainly write one. Just trans, if you're doing audio, just transcribe it. Get somebody on Fiverr to transcribe it. Anyway, da da da. What am I saying? I've completely walked away from my notes. What else am I saying? But anyway, you know, there's some things that I can't give you advice on that I'm not an expert. Remember we talked about yesterday? being careful to not position yourself as a, as a guru on all topics, because especially when you're just getting started. And I shared the example on day four, you know, where did I start? I wanted to speak to women about spiritual issues, but that's not where I started. My first book was Homemade Business, a woman's step-by-step -step guide to earning money at home. I mean, how much more specific and narrow and not really spiritual can you get? But you got to start somewhere. It's like when you start with practical help and then people heard me on Focus on the Family and all these other things. And, you know, that kind of led to the opportunity for me to talk about the things that I really want to talk about. And it also, uh, we, I talked about this, after X number of, after 40 years, you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, but there's some subjects that I'm just not qualified. If you want to know how to organize your house, no, mm -mm, no, it's just not going to be me. <laughs> but if you want to know how to sell a lot of books, I'm your girl. I, I've sold 1.5 million books. That, that, that I can help you with. That I can help you with. And I've built a mailing list of 35,000 people. And that's only because I call the list. If I if I just let the list build, it would be, be a lot more than that. But if people don't open the emails out after X amount of times, like, bye bye I say goodbye to them. It's so funny. Don't worry about people unsubscribing. I remember feeling that way, like, oh, I can't. Someone unsubscribed. They, they're not for you. You're not for them. That's good. Because your email list, you pay for everybody who's on there. And if you're not the person that they're really going to resonate, let them go. And and now I used to be, that was me. I was like, oh, someone unsubscribed. Did I do something wrong? They didn't approve of me. Now it's like, if you're not open my emails, I, I unsubscribe you. Bye-bye. I'm not paying to keep you on my list if I'm not the right person to, to help you. There's someone else that you're going to resonate with. That's okay. That's completely fine. Anyway. Guys, I'm teaching you all kinds of stuff today. What am I talking about? Informing your tribe, your tribe. And if someone is not part of your tribe and you're not speaking their language, that's okay. When I was with Wycliffe, there were 120 people, you know, with at least, I would say at least 50 different tribes. You didn't have this woman say, well, the, the Sowie tribe isn't listening to me. Well, yeah, you don't speak Sowie. <laughs> you're not called to them. Now, they didn't take it personally. They didn't get their feelings hurt. They're like, no, that's not my tribe. 
This is really setting somebody free. Okay, so Donna, what are you talking about? You're talking about um, creating products in this next year where you're gonna be diligently showing up every day. Be thinking about how you can turn the content that you're producing into products that will continue to live on afterwards. That's what I'm trying to say. And one of the first things that you can start with is a simple free ebook giveaway. I do a ton of these and the purpose of these, and I would actually, I mean, they're, it's like, as my mom always used to say, six of one, half dozen of another. Both are really important. You need little freebie eBooks to get people on your list. And then you need a little bit bigger book that you're gonna put on Kindle to build your credibility and to try to get them on your list. Okay, so what I do and works really, really well, and it's just so simple, I use Keynote, I'm, I'm a Mac, so I use Keynote, or you can use PowerPoint, and just create your book as a PowerPoint, and then X save it as a PDF. And you can see examples of this, I've done so many of these. Every webinar that I offer comes with a little PDF, ebook, workbook, all of them I just made in Keynote. Uh, one really good example, if you just go to DonnaParteau.com, uh, at the top you'll see an offer, and of course I may change the offer, but whichever offer is up there, I guarantee what it's going to take you to is a little PDF ebook that I created using Keynote Slides. Why? Because that then it can be colorful, and you've got pictures, and it looks good, and you don't need a lot of content because you got pictures and illustrations in there. Um, so these short, colorful eBooks that contain a lot of value. And one example, really good example, is um, my five, understand, uh, the secrets to extended fasting, understanding the five phases of fasting. And uh, if it's, if, it's typically the main offer at DonnaParteau.com. If it's not, if you go to DonnaParteau.com forward slash five phases, the number five, five phases, you'll find it there. And if you just take a look at that, you'll get a really good idea. There's solid content, super specific, right? Giving them a result, preparing them for something they want to do. They want to fast, but they don't know what to expect, or they've tried to fast before and they haven't been able to finish and they're not clear why. And this walks you through what is the secret to extend it fast. And I actually helped one of my best friends, Renny Ling, and she she did better. You know what she called? Hers is called Give, Pray, Fast. And the subtitle is perfect. Your fail-proof guide to finishing your fast. And if you go to, um, I think it's givepreyfastbook.com, givepreyfastbook.com, you see that she's done a really good job. That's a, that's a problem people have. They want to fast, they're like, I'm gonna do a 10 day fast, but I never finish. I get to take day two or day three and I give up. And that's a problem, because I wanna fast, but I don't know how to finish it. And so she's put together a foolproof guide to help you finally finish your fast. That's a really felt need. And it's a specific result. At the end of that, will they know whether or not they finish their fast? Yes, they will, problem solved, okay. Um, of course, in order to deliver uh, the free little kind of miniature ebook, you're going to need an email service. I use Aweber. I've been with them forever. Their customer service is the best. Um, another really popular option is MailChimp, but I would look at those two. And um, I do, I love Aweber. Okay. So you might have little, like just little snippets of goodness that gives people a you know, a quick, easy win. And that's something I've struggled with because I'm, I'm, and I think a lot of you are like me, you know, we, we saw it 35,000 feet and we love the concept and, you know, and what a little free, free ebook is designed to do is to give people a quick, easy win, something specific that they can do. Okay. And then I jumped ahead and talked about the idea of publishing a Kindle ebook. I've got some good news for you. I don't know what you're thinking of when I say book, but your ebook on Kindle can be as little as 10,000 words. In fact, 
it's better to do a shorter book. And I, I explained this in the authority class. It's actually better. People aren't looking to read War and Peace on their Kindle. They like a quick, easy win. They like, I do, I love it. I love to be able to say, oh, I finished another book because why you're on Goodreads <laughs> and, and you wanna say, yes, I've read 500 books this year. People like the quick, easy win. So rather than writing one 50,000 page book, like you would for, for a traditional publisher, your book is gonna need to be 50, 60, 70, 80,000 words. But for Kindle, it can be as little as 10,000 words and you can have five books in a series that are each 10,000 words. And that's what I'm, I'm working on right now. It's the Christian Author's Guide series. And I've got three of them done, two more. Yeah, I'm gonna have like five or six books in the series. And each of those books are only about 15,000 words. And I'm in the process of getting those all done and I'll get them up on Kindle. And I have done some self-publishing on Kindle as well as my traditional publishing. I'm what's called a hybrid author. So that I traditionally publish so that you can get wider distribution as I just mentioned, being in airports, being in the grocery store, being in gift shops, if there's still bookstores left, and then uh, um, being on Kindle, Amazon self-published because you make more money on those books. So I make, you know, you're gonna make a lot more than 64%. Again, that's in the authority class, donnaparteau.com forward slash authority. And in that I explain, you know, exactly step-by-step -step how to get yourself published why to do some self-publishing, even if your ultimate goal, your ultimate goal is to be a traditionally published author. Um, your chances of starting there are, are pretty slim. I mean, all things are possible with God, but I, meanwhile, I'd be sowing seeds. And the way to sow seeds, these little eBooks that people get by giving you their email address and you deliver them that way. And then when you have more content, like 10,000 words or more, putting them up on Kindle and begin building your following and establishing your expertise in that way. Is this helping? Is this helping somebody? Guys, I'm in my wheelhouse now. This is what I do. Yes, you know, there are a lot of people out there who will claim that they know how to do this, but I have a software program I'm looking at right now. It's called Publisher Rocket. And I can see how many books people are selling. And there are people to add two of the top gurus on the internet running Facebook ads about how they're gonna help you sell lots of uh, books on Amazon and they're selling as little as $9 a month of their own books. So this I know, this I know, this I know, and this I can really help you with. And I probably better than just about anybody else out there. There's some, there's some other good people out there, but this is, this is definitely one of my strengths. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing more and more in this wheelhouse because I think it's, I think it's a good niche for me. Micro. Okay. Uh, da -da, what else do I want to say? Oh, your purpose with both the, the, um, the freebie eBooks. And again, I've got a ton of these ton. I'll post up some more examples in the, um, in the Facebook group for you. So you can see, but I've got tons of these, I, tons, tons. Whenever I teach, um, I try to turn it into exactly what I'm telling you here. Take the best of what I've taught and turn it into little products. They're calling it, what's the word now? Splintering. Splintering. Ryan Dice came up with that term, splintering. Rather than big, huge, pro like I have my full year, 52 modules. Take your message to the world. That's a lot. And he says, and it's really, it's what I've been doing. It's going to splinter it. Take out little bite-sized pieces. Why? So that people can get a quick, easy win along the journey. Really, really important what I'm teaching you right now. Ryan Dice, also super smart. Super smart. He's, uh, I think his website is digitalmarketers.com. Very super smart guy. Your purpose in these materials is to make a great first impression, to add value, to demonstrate your expertise, and most of important of all, get, get people on your list. And I cannot tell you how many people get this wrong. Even people, there's a sweet Christian lady, lovely, really nice. I've only had good interaction with her. But she puts up all of these books on Kindle and you download them and there's, there's no content, there's no real value. 
and I, I think it's backfiring. You know, if I get close enough with her, I might go Jersey girl and say, you know what, you're really sweet, I love you, um, but you're, you're actually doing more harm than good. Because when you download uh, an ebook from somebody, and there's, have you had this happen? T somebody just tell me. I guarantee you've all had it happen. You put in your email address, to get you know whatever little piece of goodness they've offered and you they send it to you in the email or whatever and you look at it and you're like this like a one page pdf really no or you download their book on kindle and like this woman one of her ebooks is just a bunch of hyperlinks to stuff i'm like don't do that love you love you mama hen here mm-hmm give them a lot of goodness meaty yummy goodness help them get some quick easy wins if you download my, download my book on the five phases of fasting i'm really going to tell you about the five phases of fasting i'm not just going to try to sell you something really important so important and i i say this to be you know one of the things i teach in the take your message class the goal is not just to get people on your list and this is where people go wrong they think oh i just got to get people on my list no that that's only a piece of it get them on your list and glad that they found you both which you think is even more important glad they found you i'm going to tell you something this is another thing where I can really, really, really help you. One of my core competencies is this. My open rates are insane. Open rates now are 15 to 20%. When people opt in to one of my meaty goodnesses, my open rates, and I'll, I'll put up a screenshot so you know I'm not just saying this. My open rates are high as 70%. Back before Google segmented into four different, you know, divisions, my open rates were as high as 120%, which meant people opened my sing an email for me multiple times. Nobody has open rates like this. Why? Because when people opt in for something that I'm offering, I deliver. My goal is not to get them on my list. My goal is to get them on my list and really glad that they met me and really seriously help them not just try to get their name so I can try to sell them something. That we are called to a higher standard. And the world can play that game. I don't think it, well, I guess to some, I, you know, if it, I don't care if it works. We are called to a higher standard, especially if you're, you're called to God's kids. Don't mess with his kids. Don't, they're his kids. They're your brothers and sisters. You, you know, you're not, mm -mm, no, 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 no. I love, you know, I'm just, I'm, t I, you know, give them the meaty goodness. If you tell them that you're going to show them how to write a book, do you know how many people are in this market, in this space? I'm going to show you how to write a book. When you get my guide, donnaparto.com forward slash write fast with a hyphen in it, donnaparto.com forward slash write fast hyphen between right and fast i actually show you in 10 steps how to write a book like you get it it's right there that's why the open rate for people who get that and they open it like whoa she really whoa, this is good stuff then when i send them an email they open it they open it they open it they open it and that's what i've been working on i need to do better on some of these but some of them i've nailed and my open rates are insane and your open rate, it doesn't matter, your open rates will be through the roof if you deliver above and beyond. We have an above and beyond God. So you need to go above and beyond, especially on your freebies, because that's your first impression. And even though I said your, your Kindle book only needs to be 10,000 words, it needs to be 10,000 words that really delivers a quick, easy win, narrow, right? A quick, easy win. My getting started on Amazon KDP. Narrow, specific. It's about 15,000 words. That, thing, that book is so good. I'm sorry. These really, they're great books. A successful book launch secrets. I actually really tell you my best secrets. Yeah. Okay, so does this help somebody? I hope this helps somebody. Okay, so I just encourage all of you 
out of this, you know, what you're doing in the coming days, be thinking about product creation, repurposing, repurposing is the word that I would use for that. Um, another thing, everybody knows Zoom now, um, doing free webinars, doing Zoom sessions, hugely published, popular. Lots of online influencers have be built a massive following um, by doing the Zoom sessions and the free webinars. Again, I dive deeper in that into the in the Take Your Message to the World program. I actually give you scripts. I don't really I don't do webinars anymore, but back in the day, they were enormously successful for me. Again, I was able to generate six figure incomes, um, you know, through the webinars. You can create it once, make it available on demand, and then use it over and over again, or you can be there live, um, regularly scheduled Facebook lives targeting your tribe. I would do them in a Facebook group. I, I've already covered that. They could even be short little featurettes, 15 minutes, but regularly scheduled, showing up every week for a year. A free video series like this one I'm creating right now. My life is just so unpredictable. That's my problem. I travel so much. As I said, I'm a, a kingdom digital nomad. So it's hard for me to show up every week. I was doing great. I had a Facebook Live I was doing every week, the Lifestyle Freedom Show, and then I went to Brazil and it all went out the window. Anyway, um, a free video series like this one. And that's why I do like this idea for some of you. Do a seven day, do a 30 day, do a 90 day, you know, commit to a, a fixed series that you're going to create. I've already, I mean, I've hit this point already. Offer it free, do it live, then package it into a program that you can sell and use over and over again. Um, another really popular, this was created by Jeff Walker. Uh, really another super smart guy, Jeff Walker. He calls it the product launch formula. And I also cover that uh, in my Take Your Message to the World class. But it's, um, it's a four part video series. And the first three videos are teaching and then the fourth video has a little bit of teaching and then a call for them to register for your paid program. Really, really popular approach. And that's called the um, product launch formula. And you, you know, just use your smartphone to, to record them if you don't want to do them live. I don't really like doing them live. Uh, I prefer to record them on my smartphone and then, and then post them up like that. That's my preference. And then also put them on YouTube just to expand your reach. Oh, and I will say this, that a video teaching series is the one thing that I do think people will pay for to get access to your Facebook group. So you can have, there's two types of Facebook groups. One is your free public Facebook group like this. God's Sore Team is my free public Facebook group. And then I probably have 50 other Facebook groups that were for specific classes. And those were paid access. So you can have both. You can have free groups open to the public. And then out of that free group, those who want to register for, you know, more in-depth mentoring, um, they can join that. And I don't know why my lips are so dry. What is that? Probably because it's 95 degrees. So does that make sense? So out of your larger free Facebook group, you can be sharing, hey, you know, you're enjoying all this wonderful free stuff. Uh, I'm going to have like a more intense mentoring, coaching, consulting relationship with a smart, like Jesus, you know, you got the 5,000, everybody gets some loaves and fishes. And then uh, those of you, then, then three of you are going to come to the mountaintop with me. You know, the 20 of you are going to come to a castle with me. 25 of you are going to come to Santorini with me. It, you know, that more intimate come away with me type of a thing. And then you can also do uh, live events, powerful, or, you know, Facebook group. And I do that as well. So you're going to do a, a mentoring program and that'll be paid. Does it make sense? Okay. Another thing you can do, and this is really popular, if you ultimately want to offer coaching, consulting, high-end, like a membership format, very popular, you can even do free consultations, but you better know what you're doing. So you do like a 20-minute free consultation and at the end of that, you're like, hey, you know, I think you'd be a good fit for my, you know, $20,000 a year coaching program. Very popular. I already talked about podcasting. I do, I give you some links in your workbook 
Um, I began doing podcasting before it was called podcasting. It was called Blog Talk Radio, and it still exists. Uh, Blog Talk Radio, and I include a link to that. It's a great way to get kind of get your feet wet with Donna. It's allergies. I don't. I don't worry. I'm not sick. It's allergies. Okay, but it's a good way to kind of get your feet wet, feet wet with with pod, with podcasting, without having to get bogged down into some of the more technical, in depth aspects. It's really easy, and uh, I, I took mine down and turned it into a paid class. That's true. I did free podcasts. In fact, I used Blog Talk Radio to create the ninety day jumpstart and the ninety day renewal. Yeah. And then when I decided I was going to pay for that material, I deleted them off of Blog Talk Radio. And then ultimately, and this is the direction I want to go, and I, I'm praying about when I can put that together. You want to have a podcast that's out on iTunes, you know, that's out on all of these different platforms. And the most popular um, tool that seems to be recommended by leaders in the industry, I've not done this yet. I think I'm going to, though. It's called Buzzsprout. And again, I've put a link in uh, in your workbook for, for Buzzsprout. So I already gave you the example with with um, doing a podcast and then turning it, if you want, turning it into a, a paid program. And do I have time to dive into one more thing? Yeah, let me just go ahead and keep going. I know I've covered a lot of material, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, and cover the rest of this as well. Okay. Okay. Um, Define the result. We've been talking about that. I'm talking about creating um, permanent products out of what you're doing with the seed sign. I hope that everyone's clear about that as you inform your tribe. Define the result, the desired outcome, and then document your journey. And, and we've been talking about this all week, but in your workbook, I lay it out a little bit more specifically, and I want to go over that real quickly, and then we'll wrap. So the first step is to locate point A and point B. Where are you? Where is your tribe right now? Point A. And where do they want to be? That's point B. And then your mission is to invite them on a journey from point A to point B, specific starting point, specific ending point, and then empower them to close the gap between where they are now and where they want to be. Okay. So where they are now is they want to write a book. Where they will end up is having written their book in 10 easy steps. Where they are right now is they want to get their book published. Where they'll be at the, at the end of authority class is they'll be in print and on Kindle in 30 days. Specific. Identify the common obstacles. That, that's number one, point number one, how you're going to do this. Locate point A, locate point B, that specific outcome. They'll know they're there. That's key. Number two, identify the common obstacles. Share, and then you can share that in real time as you are in process of overcoming those obstacles and the lessons you're learning along the way. Make, people, make sure people understand up front, you know, we're in this together, so don't worry about it. We're going we're gonna to figure it out together. So again, common obstacles on, you know, somebody who wants to write a book, they don't know where to begin. They're staring at a blank page. And I show them exactly how to get started, how to overcome that initial inertia. People don't know how am I, I don't know how to publish a book. Don't, you know, that's crazy. Well, I have a book, Getting Started on Amazon KDP. It tells you exactly how to set up your account. How to get the book cover done. Number three is to reveal the success secrets. Make a list. What are the habits? What are the routines? What are the steps that are critical to the success that you see your tribe leaders achieving or maybe that you've achieved? What skills need to be developed? You'll notice yesterday I gave you a link to the online success quiz and I map out for you 10 different areas where you're going to need to develop skills. Those are going to be your secrets to success. And I share some of the best practices. Share what you know, what you've gathered so far, and share as you go. Get people to sign up and, you know, be up gleaning, learning every day, and share what you learn in the process. Number four, share where help comes from. 
What if they get stuck? What are the type of people? What are the resources that your tribe member is going to need to help them along the journey? I just mentioned Buzzsprout. I just mentioned Block Talk Radio. I want to be an influencer. I want to have a podcast. How do I get started? Well, an easy way is Blog Talk Radio. It takes you about two minutes to set it up. You don't need any technical skill. You can call in on your phone. How can they find those people? One of the most popular things to offer is a list of resources. Mike Hyatt does this all the time. Super smart guy. Used to be my agent back in the day. Super smart. He offers all kinds of toolkits and all it is is just a list of the resources that he recommends that have gotten him from point A to point B on his journey to be more productive. People love it because they're overwhelmed. They don't know what to do. In fact, I will post one up. Um, my partner in Seven Days to Freedom, Tamara Aragon, Aragon has put together a wonderful, it's amazing. She made it available free and people are like, you need to charge for this. It's called um, Internet Empire and, and she shares a lot of the tools and, and resources that have helped her build an, you know, an Internet Empire. Very valuable. Can you put together a toolkit? Yeah, you're homeschooling mom. You're all about cooking healthy. Whatever it is, your pastor's wife. What are the resources that have helped you become more successful? Put that together. People love this because you've done the research for them. They don't want to go on the internet and sort through all this stuff. It's too overwhelming. And you're a respected leader. You're the published author. You're the podcast host. You know what you're doing. So they can just trust you to figure it out and sort the wheat from the chaff. Very, very, very powerful. And people really like that. What are books that you recommend? Videos you recommend? Podcasts you like? Tools, trainings, software? Obviously, you want to present yourself as a key resource, but you're speeding their journey. You're cutting their learning curve. Number five, outline the specific steps along the way. Again, that's what I do. I try to do that in all of my programs. People want a blueprint. They want a roadmap, a step-by-step -step guide. Not just, people are not going to pay for information. They're not going to pay, like, general information. They're not going to pay for inspiration. They're not going to pay for motivation. There's too much of that available free. Too much. What they will pay for and what they need is a blueprint, a roadmap, a step-by-step -step guide take the guesswork out of getting from point A to point B. And again, we've talked over and over again, just document your journey. You don't have to wait till you're at the end and you've arrived. You can take people on the journey with you. I mean, there's power in being already established, but like I said, once you write the book, then you really are the authority. So invite people, to, I mean, it's free. Invite them to take the time journey, do it just like I did it. Following my footsteps, success leaves clues. I, I've leaves clues. I've told you how I did it. Offer it free. Sign them up. Take them on the journey, and then voila! I'm at point B. Turn that into a book, and now when you invite people to take that journey, you can, that you can charge for it. But the first time you don't have to charge for it. Take it some credibility guides. Does it make sense? Simple, simple green smoothies. I mean, that's a multi, multi, multi million dollar brand. Multi million dollar brand. Simple green smoothies. Started as, I think, a free Facebook group for stay at home moms who wanted to have a healthier breakfast. That was it. Not to improve every aspect of motherhood, but to have a healthy green smoothie for breakfast. That was it. Small claim that they could deliver. And it's a multi, multi, multi million dollar business at this point. But it began free, free recipes. And I think they do have a lot of free recipes still. I've said this so many times, I'm gonna say it one more time, just document your own journey. People become paralyzed because they feel like they have to think up something to teach, not true, to share your journey. This is a big one, and I think this is where I'm gonna wrap. Number six, identify key milestones to achieve and celebrate. 
let your tribe know what are the milestones they can expect to achieve along the way, what the next milestone on the journey might be, what are you all aiming for, can they join you in achieving the same outcome, and then celebrate it. Organize people. Like, like I could, like I could do, like with my group. Once you get your cover designed, you, we can all celebrate, and you can have challenges, contests, boot camps, giveaway prizes, and it's a great way to gather testimonial. So everybody, now we're gonna, everybody, let's go on Fiverr and get our covers designed. And I'm gonna have a contest, and we're gonna vote for whoever had the best cover designed. And I'm gonna give a $100 Amazon gift card to the person who has the best cover design. That's one of the milestones on the journey. And we're all gonna celebrate it together. And then the next milestone on your journey is to gonna have your, your book outline done. And everybody submits their book outline and we randomly join, we rand randomly draw everybody who submits a book outline to the Facebook group and they get some other prize. Really powerful. People need to celebrate. The Bible commands us, I think it's 88 times to celebrate. Behavior that gets rewarded gets repeated. So celebrate with people. I did a ton of this, ton. If any of you were in my 90 day renewal, there was a new challenge with a reward every week. You'd get a bouquet of flowers. You'd get a gift basket of you know, bathing supplies, you'd get a candle. Every week, there was a new challenge, a new contest, and a new prize that I would send out to people. It works really, really well. Okay, we did it. Woohoo, woohoo. Your assignments for day five. What free resources can you offer to build your following and your email list? Map out that journey just talked about from point A to point B, map it out. What are the obstacles you've already encountered? Which do you expect to encounter? You can keep that updated. Have you already discovered some secrets you can share? Who has already helped you? Who has already influenced you? What are some resources you already know that you can recommend? What are the key milestones? that you guys could celebrate together. And are you willing to invest? You gotta invest in it. This is gonna be an income generator for you. Um, pick some rewards and plan those out. That really gets people motivated, motivated. So plan your boot camp, your contest, your challenge, and uh, you know, lot, lots of great ideas today. And I'm excited for you guys. I hope this helped. Soaring, securing him, own your niche, always be selling, do your research, get specific results, be a role model of someone who's always moving forward, getting better and better results, and then begin to inform your tribe, positioning yourself as a resource by really delivering some great, great content, even beginning in the beginning, free. And then tomorrow we'll talk about, you know, then there comes a point in time where you need to get paid because the workman is worthy of our hire, and that includes you. Let me, uh, I'll wrap there.